Hi, my name is Christina and I am a registered dietitian and research scientist at Omega Quant and I'm here to go over the results from your complete report. You just ordered the full fatty acid profile. So you got your results and you've seen values for 24 plus fatty acids on this piece of paper. So you might be a little confused about what this means and that's what I'm going to try to answer uh, in this short video. The first thing I want to note is that a majority of the fatty acid levels presented um, in this report are not intended yet to really guide your health um, decisions or make, suggest dietary changes. We just don't know enough about all these fatty acids to be able to make really strong recommendations yet. With the exception of the trans fat index and of course the omega-3 index, all the other fatty acid levels are part of a new and emerging field of science where we are still determining what they mean for our health and how we change them to benefit our health. So it should be said before you make any decisions or any changes to your diet based on these fatty acid levels, please consult your healthcare provider and talk to them about these results. So let's go into some of the interesting things you can learn from this report. First, we think that it is incredibly interesting to see an overall pattern of your fatty acids in your, um, in your blood. And these fatty acids that we've measured and are providing here in the complete report are a measure of fatty acids in your whole blood. You provided a dried blood spot for the sample and we look at the fatty acids in the whole blood. So that includes plasma, white, and red blood cells but you might be thinking the omega-3 index I've heard is just in red blood cells. You are correct. So we are able to, from the dried blood spot, we are able to use a proprietary algorithm that can predict the amount of EPA and DHA from a dried blood spot to a red blood cell with about 98% accuracy. So we're able to estimate the true red blood cell level uh, for the omega-3 index from a dried blood spot. You might notice that your um, EPA and DHA levels reported here will not add up to the omega-3 index, and that is because we are providing the omega-3 index as the red blood cell estimate, and we're providing the EPA and DHA levels as the actual whole blood estimates. 